Okay, uh, these are just the first impressions of the Model 3. Uh, this is going to be for my wife. Um, and I own Model S, the early production one from 2003, which I still enjoy a lot. So, just a few, um, maybe start with a few issues that I, I found with Model 3. They're, they're minor and I, they're probably associated with the uh, early uh, production and will probably be straightened out and probably I'll have to do a few trips to the um, service center like I wa was the case with Model S. However, all those minor issues have been straightened out and uh, fixed and I don't have any issues anymore whatsoever with the Model S. However, with Model 3, there may be, probably the, that will be the same experience. However, this is something as the early adopters we would expect to have. So one thing that I, so this, so I picked up this car a couple days ago and uh, what I found was the, the first thing I found was that um, the driver's side door just w probably was misaligned because I need it needed an extra slamming you know I needed to open it and, um, slam it a couple times to close however other doors were fine uh, so I, I made a trip and Tesla was really uh, kind enough to to quickly fix it like in 30 minutes while I was just drinking coffee in their uh, office uh, so this was fixed so this is great what else uh, um, there is some maybe just a little bit maybe misalignment I don't know if that's a uh, camera can show this but there's a little bit of a um, bump here on this this is the cover this is a charge cover charge port cover while well, here we don't have anything well, we don't have any I don't know if that's intended not a really big deal but um, other than that I didn't find any major issues I thought this might be also like an issue that was more with model 3 but I think that may be intended that they are not completely flush and here i don't know i don't have a way to compare it to other cars or not but there was a issue with model s where it would be a little bit kind of you know you have different gaps here and there again not a really big deal it does not affect anything but it's just a little bit of an issue just a couple more gripes on the um you know alignment misalignment it looks like this one may not be flush but let's compare it to model s model s feels a little bit better here i mean it definitely i mean these things have been fixed over time with model s uh, at the service center and there's still some issues here and there but not really some anything big or problematic is not something i i worry about much anymore uh, but it looks like because this is in probably within the that's this car was made in the first thousand probably so it's pretty early I was lucky enough to get it into this uh, in 2017 um, they promised to deliver it in sometime in January but really uh, made it earlier which I appreciate a lot from the tax perspective and getting some credits from that, that that was great so I don't need to wait a year to get the my tax credit anyway other than that the car is great I, I took it on the test ride uh, Actually, it has only it has only 113 miles on the odometer, 
and the the, the one thing I, I noticed was because I don't have a autopilot on that car um, this car did autopilot did not work so it kicked in only after 15 miles of uh, driving and before that it was showing that um, uh, it, the cameras were calibrating so cameras needed some calibration I was I, I read something that for some people it took 600 miles and it still didn't work for me it only took maybe 30 40 miles and it was calibrated so that's great so that's about it for now uh, I'm gonna post more videos and more details uh, I am the owner of Model S and I've had it for five years now.